Before studying the concept of logarithm, let us try to understand the concept of the exponents. For any positive real numbers a and b and any real numbers x and y, that is a, b belongs to r plus real positive numbers and x and y are some real numbers, that is belongs to r. a raised to x into a raised to y, if the bases are same, powers would be added, that is a raised to x plus y. a raised to x upon a raised to y, that is a raised to x minus y. a raised to x whole raised to y, that gives us the product of the powers, that is a raised to xy. ab whole raised to x. That means there is a sign of multiplication between the variables a and b. So we can apply the power to both of them, that is a raised to x into b raised to x. a upon b whole raised to x, that is a division sign between a and b, and therefore a raised to x upon b raised to x. Remember, we cannot apply this type of rule for addition of the numbers or for the, uh, subtraction of the numbers. Logarithm was introduced by mathematician John Napier, whereas the log tables were prepared by mathematician Henry Briggs. How do we define logarithm? If A is any real positive number except 1, that is belongs to R plus minus 1. Y is any real positive number, that means Y belongs to R plus. And X is any kind of real number, that is X belongs to R. And the exponential form that is given to us is A raised to X is equal to Y. Then X is called logarithm of Y to the base A. And denoted as log Y to the base A is equal to X. Let us try to convert some of the exponential form into log numbers. So, we convert the following numbers of exponents into log form. 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. Here 2 is the base, 3 is the power and 8 is the answer of 2 raised to 3. Let us see how do we convert that into logarithmic form. Here it will become log 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3. The base remains as a base and the power becomes the answer of the log. So that gives us log 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3. Next number 5 raised to minus 4 is equal to 1 upon 625. That gives us log 1 upon 625 to the base 5 is equal to minus 1 upon 4. Still the next number, 0 0.4 whole square is equal to 0 0.16. The number is converted into logarithmic form like log 0 0.16 to the base 0 0.4 is equal to 2. Next number is 16 raised to 3 upon 4 is equal to 8. That gets converted into log 8 to the base 16 is equal to 3 upon 4. Next number is 5th root of 32 is equal to 2. First we shall convert this into exponential form like 32 raised to 1 upon 5 is equal to 2. Then we convert it into logarithmic form that is log 2 to the base 32 is equal to 1 upon 5. What are the properties of logarithm? Logarithm of only positive real numbers can be obtained. That means we cannot obtain log of 0 or negative numbers, only real positive numbers. For them only we can obtain the logarithm. For any number like A which is R belonging to R plus minus 1, that means it is a real positive number accepting 1. That is the condition of A, real positive number except 1 then log 1 to the base A is equal to 0. That means log 1 to any permissible base is 0. For the same condition of A, log A base A. That means if the log number and the base number are same, then the answer is 1. For any real number A, the same condition. And Y belongs to R plus means only real positive number. 
log x to the base a is equal to log y to the base a. Remember the bases have to be same. That is possible if and only if x is equal to y. What are the working rules of logarithm? If for the same condition of a, that is a belongs to r plus minus 1, that is real positive number accepting 1, a raised to log x to the base a, that is going to give us x. And log of a raised to x to the base a, that means a raised to x is a single number to the base a, then that answer is going to be x. Product rule. If a belongs to r plus minus 1, y belongs to r, and there is a multiplication sign between the numbers x and y, that is log xy to the base a, then between the logs we will get addition sign, so that is log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. That means if there is a multiplication sign between the numbers, then there will be addition between their logs. Quotient rule. If a belongs to r plus minus 1, so the same condition for a, and y, x and y are similarly same belonging to r, then log x upon y to the base a. So instead of multiplication now, there is a division between x and y. So instead of addition, there will be subtraction between the logs. So the answer is log x to the base a minus log y to the base a. So if there is division between the numbers, then there will be Subtraction between their logs. Rule of log of a power. For the same condition of A and any real positive number X, whereas any real number N, log of X raised to N to the base A. That means the power N comes in front, that is N multiplied by log X to the base A. Example number 1, the first sum. Here we are given log 17 upon 25 to the base 3. And you can see that the base of all the three terms given over here are same. Let us try to simplify this sum and obtain what can be obtained the final answer as. First of all, what we are going to do is we are going to apply the form of product rule and the quotient rule. If we write down log 17 upon 25. Now, original question has a plus sign in between. So, there will be multiplication sign between the numbers. So, multiplied by 600 upon 119. The original question contains minus sign and therefore, this sign would be divided, divided by 8 upon 7. The whole to the base of 3. That finally gives us that log First of all, we need to convert this division sign into multiplication sign. So, 17 upon 25 as it is multiplied by 600 upon 119 as it is. Division sign gets converted into multiplication sign. So, 8 upon 7 becomes 7 upon 8 whole to the base of 3. We know that 17 ones are and 17 sevens are that is 119. 7 and 7 gets cancelled. 25 ones are and 25, 24 za, that is 600. And 8 ones za, and 8 three za. So what we are left out over here is only 3. So we get it as log 3 base 3. Again, the log number and the base number are same. And we know the principle that log A base A is 1. So the final answer of this sum is also 1. Example number 1. Sum number 2. We are given some numbers in front of the logs. So what we are going to do is, we are going to take up those numbers in the form of the powers of the number, applying the rule of log of the power. This becomes log 2 upon 7 whole raised to 4 to the base A. Because the 4 will go in the form of the power on 2 upon 7. Minus log 3 upon 49, I'll change it into 7 square, that is carrying out the factorization, whole to the power of 3, because 3 log, that becomes the number raised to 3, minus, there is no number in front of the log, 
But 14 can be factorized as 2 into 7 upon 9 can be factorized as 3 square. Let us apply the powers of the numbers of the brackets. That is, this gives us 2 raised to 4 upon 7 raised to 4. Pull to the base of A minus log. Applying the same principle over here also. 3 cube upon 7 raised to 6 because 2 multiplied by 3. That gives us 7 raised to 6. Hold to the base of 3. Uh, sorry, A. Log. This number remains as it is. 2 into 7 upon 3 square. To the base A. Log. Applying the rules of product and quotient. 2 raised to 4 upon 7 raised to 4. There was a minus sign in between. So, I am going to write down now, divided by 3 cube upon 7 raised to 6. Once again, minus becomes division. 2 multiplied by 7 upon 3 square, whole to the base of A. That finally gives us log. All the division signs have to be converted into multiplication signs. So, that is, multiplied by, numbers become inverse upon 3 cube, again multiplied by, 3 square upon 2 into 7. Now we have some like bases over here. So 2 raised to 4 in the numerator. And 2 in the denominator. So 2 raised to 4 upon 2. That is going to give us 2 cube. That gives us log 2 cube multiplied by. Same way we have 7 raised to 6 in the numerator. But the denominator contains 7 raised to 4 and 7. That is 7 raised to 5. So 7 raised to 6 upon 7 raised to 5 that is only 7 upon. Now the power of 3 is bigger in the denominator. So that gives us 3 raised to 3 in the denominator, 2 in the numerator. So 3 minus 2 that is 1. Ultimately we get our final answer. The whole base A that is equal to 56 upon 3 the log to the base A. Example 1, sum number 3. We are given log cube root of 16 upon 4 to the base 2. Whereas the second term has got base 3. So we will consider that we are, we are given two different sums simultaneously. So let us try to solve this particular sum in a separate form. That gives us is equal to first of all converting this root signs into power notation. So that gives us log cube root of 16 becomes 16 raised to 1 third upon 4 whole to the base of 2 plus log square root of 27 becomes 27 raised to half upon 81 whole to the base of 3. That gives log 16 can be factorized as 2 raised to 4 and it was into 1 upon 3 so 4 upon 3 upon 4 can be factorized as 2 raised to 2 whole to the base of 2. Same principle over here that is log 3 raised to 3 that is 27 but into half so upon 2 whole upon 3 raised to 4 that are the factors of 81 whole to the base of 3. That finally gives us log 2 raised to 4 upon 3 minus 2 whole to the base of 2 plus log in the same way 3 raised to 3 upon 2 minus 4 whole to the base of 3 because there is a division between the numbers so there will be subtraction sign between the powers. That gives us log 4 upon 3 minus 2. So I need to take up LCM and that gives us 2 raised to 4 minus 6 whole upon 3 to the base 2. Same way over here also that is log 3 raised to 3 minus 8 whole upon 2 to the base 3 because we need to take up LCM to carry out this calculation. That gives us log 2 raised to minus 2 upon 3 to the base 2 plus log 
2 raised to minus 5 upon 2 to the base 2. That further gives us minus 2 upon 3 log 2 base 2. Because the power of a log will come down in front of the log. Plus minus 5 upon 2 log 3 base 3. That finally gives us, what is the answer of log 2 base 2? That is 1. So that gives us minus 2 upon 3 into 1. Plus minus 5 upon 2. That gives us minus 5 upon 2 into log 3 base 3 once again is 1. That gives us minus 2 upon 3 minus 5 upon 2. Taking up LCM once again, that gives us minus 4, minus 15, whole upon 6. And finally we get our answer as minus 19 upon 6. Example 2, sum number 1. Here we are given log to the base A with x square upon yz. And all of them have the same base and there is a plus sign in between all the terms. Applying the rule of log of product of the numbers. That is product. That gives us log x square upon yz multiplied by y square upon xz multiplied by z square upon xy whole to the base a. Further, that gives us log in the numerator we have x square into y square into z square. Whereas in the denominator we have 2 times x. So x into x that is x square. Similarly we have 2 times y that is into y square. And similarly into z square. Both numerator and denominator are same so that gets cancelled. And what we are left out is log 1 to the base A. Log of 1 to any permissible base. We know the answer and that is equal to 0. Example 2, sum number 2. Log 81 to the base 3, log 64 to the base 2 and log 125 to the base 5. All the bases are different. That means we are given 3 different calculative sums in the single question. That gives us log 3 raised to 4 to the base 3 because 81 is 3 raised to 4 multiplied by log 2 raised to 6 to the base 2 because 64 is 2 raised to 6 whole upon log 125 is 5 cube to the base 5. Applying the rule of power of the log that gives us log 3 base 3. The power of 4 will go in front so that is 4 log 3 base 3. Multiply by log 2 base 2 as it is, but the power of 6 will go in front, so that is into 6. Whole upon same way, that gives us 3 log 5 base 5. What is log A base A? That is 1. So what is log 3 base 3? So that is 1. So 4 1 is 4. Same way, 6 into log 2 base 2 is also 1. So 6 upon log 5 base 5 is also 1. So upon 3. 3 ones are, 3 twos are, cancellation, simple calculation, that gives us 8.